I think it's a uh, uh, hundred horse. Hundred horse electric. So what powers this? Three phase. Okay. Three phase off the bottom of it. Wow. It's cut over its lifetime. It's here. I'll, I'll just uncover it. Here. Oh yeah. Over its lifetime, it's cut over way over a million feet. Sawing old growth from the Forest Service back in the day, and they had this thing all the way down the power lines, completely full of old growth logs, and then all the oh. way down Gossett Road. Wow! Now I've never seen anything quite like this before. How do the carbide inserts? Okay. So you use a special wrench, and twist them in, and twist them out. Oh wow! But it'll cut a 12 by 12. 31 feet long. 31, 30 feet. 31 feet long. So when you guys are cutting lumber with this, do you have somebody that runs along and sprays water as it goes? Well, it's got these, it's got these water feeds to it already set up. Okay. Uh, sometimes when it's uh, a, a big cut and, and it's fairly hard wood, we add a little more water to it. Okay. But uh, other than that. Wow. That is really neat. So do you guys pretty much just mill for yourselves or do you do custom for other people? Huh. Oh wow. That'd be cool to see. How long you figure this mill's been here? Uh, let's see. 83, I think. Oh, it was somewhere in the 70s. Oh, 70s? Yeah. Because I was like, uh, I was in the sixth grade when I dug the holes for the cement for the, uh, for the bolt. Oh. So. And how often do you have to throw grease at this? Too often. No, not too often. Hmm. So set up in the 70s. Man. So you're thinking about 10 million feet roughly. Oh, easy. easy. Wow. Because we saw a couple of years ago probably 50, 60,000 feet of bridge stringers just in one shot. Wow. Well, if you notice on the door over here, this is a tally for just one cut. <laughs> and then all these yeah. marks that are on the door are. Mm -hmm five marks is basically five logs yeah and we were just tallying those and that was just one round wow wow we didn't have any paper at the time so we just <laughs> it right on the door. Uh, and um i'm assuming the the fan here is uh extra cooling for your motor or no yeah, it blows the wood chips out of your face oh yeah because it's cut and it blows it back in your face so you just blow it sideways so okay water injected and then it's got some old the uh, hydrostatic drive runs it up and down the rail and stuff like that's off of a riding lawnmower really yeah that, yeah one of the first hydrostatic lawnmowers that they had this is basically off of the first riding lawnmower hydrostatic transmission Wow. So which is, you just pull on the lever and away it goes. Yeah, backwards and forwards. Gee whiz. So, guys, what does this cost to run like an hour, say, of just in power, you think? I don't think we've ever thought about it. It's, it's basically like uh, $60 a month or something like that. Okay. That's, that's it. Wow. Maybe a little bit more when you're running three phase, but not much more than that. Huh. So it runs really cheap. And this kick out bar here, what does that do? It grabs the beams and the two by fours, two by sixes or whatever and pulls them back to you. Huh. So when he gets through the cut, oh. that shuts and then he pushes oh. it back and it hits these rollers. We put rollers back here in planks, and it just rolls back with some hands. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Too cool. Okay, and then here's your water valve. Right. Turn those on. Huh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually going to video of it 
working, but I'll send that to you. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks for giving me the rundown on this mill. This is awesome, guys.